So what we're doing today, guys, is we are headed to the Montreal Grand Prix circuit. If you guys have been keeping up with my F1 series, That's we genius. are, uh, the next race we're on is the Montreal Grand Prix circuit. And I thought to get a little bit of an advantage on all the other drivers, we would go to the thing in real life and do what actual drivers do. And it's like walk the track so you can learn it and stuff and like compare that to the game. And I thought that would be a really cool idea. So, okay, people might be wondering like, well, how the hell do you just drive onto the F1 track? Well, the Montreal Grand Prix circuit, when it's not an F1 track, is a park and just about anyone who wants can go to it. So cool. And we're going to do that today. Really, are they not gonna let us drive on here? Are we gonna have to walk? No, please don't make me walk. So, you know how you said you've never been to the F1 track? I've never been to the F1 track. You have now. I have now. Oh, look at it. It's a full of bikers and pedalists. It's so windy. Okay, so one of the things that you can see in F1 a lot is like the ads on the on the boards and everything. Now, usually, there's one up there. But I mean, F1's not on. There's also walls on the, or ads on the walls. Not right now, because no F1. So it's still like super windy here, but one of the most like famous things about this F1 track is, <laughs> is, is the massive casino right in the middle that you guys might be familiar with. That's too bright. It's like, that's in the game. And then there has been one many crashes right here along this wall. Uh, a lot of tires coming off and people crashing. And I mean, it's pretty cool. Tire marks everywhere, a guy hit the wall, smashed it, came all the way out here and then it's just like, God damn. The biking people have been going in the opposite direction than the one we've been walking in. So this whole time I've been confused and I kept thinking that we were going in the opposite direction of the cars. So I thought the cars were going in the same direction as the bike. So I couldn't understand how any of the marks on the floor made sense. Do you know where we are? Um, is this where they like come in when they have like a flat tire? Like yeah. Some sort of issue in These the are the pits all throughout here. And they're like, then all like the people on their laptops sit up there and then pits and bike people. I guess like the there, right? Yeah. So if you're like a super rich person, you sit up there with like your supermodel wife. And I mean, there's stands over there. And then pretend like you're waving a flag. You're not a very good flag girl. And then on the track it says Salut Gilles for Jack Villeneuve. It's pretty cool. So then that's like the Salut Gilles stuff. And then outside of the pits, you've got like the little winny spot. That's where all like the winners go and they go, hey. Also known as the place where that guy got booed in like Italy. Oh yeah, Rosberg, he gets booed a lot. So one of the other things with the F1 track, because it's a park, they have parky things. Like, I mean, there's tickets that you can get and those tickets allow you to go to a beach. Boy, that looks exciting. So like whenever I come to the F1, I sit like here at like the first corner. I think it's called Senna Stand. I sit there, but if we walk off the track, we've got like this little like secret little path because it's a park and stuff and it's cool. And it's not windy in here. So we've gone from one place to a completely another place. See, I told you the beach On the cool. beach. It's like, that's a legit beach. Something you don't really notice when you watch like the thing on TV is just like the texture of, of the apexes. They're like really, really bumpy. And I don't think pe most people know it's like, they aren't smooth. It's like, they've got all these ridges in them. And it's like, you kind of don't want to hit them almost. This building is actually in F1 2016. I'll like cut to it now, but that thing's there. And it's like a restaurant, I think, or or something that says a pavilion like, of Canada. It looks like two restaurants. Yeah. So just behind this building is the whole city. I'll, I'll, I'll like zoom in on it. It's really far, but you can sort of see that that's totally an F1 2016 as well. So I found a problem with F1 2016. It's not entirely accurate. I mean, there are certain things that aren't in the game. I, I don't know what it could be, but something. Sure it wasn't your hair? You're mean. So one of the other things that may or may not actually be an F1, I'm not actually sure, I'll have to cut to the game here, is this tunnel. There's obviously like uh, an overpass, that's how everything gets in, onto this island that is the Grand Prix circuit. But it's like all worn down and everything. You can even hear the cars hitting up there. I mean, it's like, it's pretty cool. 
So that's what the F1 track looks like. It's it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm really interested to see sort of how well it compares to the game. And I mean, like, in terms of, like, those little details. Because, I mean, the track's there, right? But it's all about the little details, really. Is there... No, there's no car. So, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can subscribe down below for more videos like this. And I mean, hey, if you like these types of like little vlogs and stuff where you just go walk around, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my best to do some more of them. And Cause I like vlogging. Vlogging's cool. And I mean, I don't do it enough, so. We should, we should turn it into like a vlogging couple. You guys should let us know if that would be something that you'd watch. <laughs> wait, wait, let me, let me Corey it. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey guys, so I wanted to do just a little recap at the end of this video. After I went in and I did the walk on the F1 track, and then I played F1 2016 and jumped into all of those little details that I was talking about, it is unbelievable how many things are accurate in the way they are in real life. Look, the casino, for instance, is basically identical. The architecture on the casino in real life is super, super unique, and they got it exactly right for the game. The same thing goes for that restaurant, which isn't actually a restaurant. It's like the architecture on that is 100% perfect, but the most surprising one was that overpass right at the end. If you look on the roof in real life, there's like rust and it's falling down because it's Montreal. But in the game, they have that too, and it's just crazy. So the game is so accurate to real life. It's just, I wasn't expecting that. It's like what I was expecting was it to be similar. I was obviously expecting the track to be accurate, but these little details like having the ceiling where it's falling down, I wasn't expecting that at all. Anyways guys, that was our walk on the F1 track comparing it to the F1 2016 game. Subscribe if you guys enjoy. Check out F1 2016, the link's in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.